let's see, lecture 12. As I said, next week I will continue on this uh, particular person's story. Okay. Now here, this is a time Jesus predicted that Judas Iscariot will betray him. Okay. Now that's a very short story here. Uh, this story was recorded in Matthew 26, 21, 25, and along with Mark 14, 17 to 21, and Luke 22, 14 through 20, and 24 through 30. It's a three, three gospel books recorded that Sorry here. Jesus, okay, that was immediate before the Passover dinner. Okay, now, immediate before the Passover dinner. That means after this event, Passover meal began. Okay, so, after these stories here, I just wrote down here, the, the Passover dinner started. Okay, here, Matthew 26, 26, 29. In other words, prior to the actual Passover dinner, this event, took place. Okay? So this event means Jesus' prediction over betrayal, betrayal of Judas Iscariot. Betrayal. Okay? You know meaning. Okay? Now, so there was immediate before the Passover dinner. Okay, where 12 disciples sat together with Jesus. Jesus certainly predicted, okay, by saying this, one of you, one of you shall betray me. He said that. One of you shall betray me. And those disciples were very surprisingly, sometimes Bible said they were so sorrow, sorrowful that wondering, Lord, is it me? Asking everybody, is it me? Is it I? And Jesus looked around and telling them that no. The one, the one, he that dipped his hand with me in the dish. You, see, you know, they were always using their fingers, okay? Dipped their hand in the dish, okay? Shall betray me. Referring to Judas Iscariot. So the other disciples were a little bit relaxed but wondering and very sad that our Lord will be betrayed by Judas Iscariot. Now they notice that, okay? Judas Iscariot, remember a few months, a few, about one year ago, Jesus indicated Judas Iscariot was what? A devil. Okay, and right before, right after the Passover meal later, uh, in his prayer to Father God, he again told his disciples that he is a son of the destruction after the Passover meal. Okay, now this is a before the Passover meal. Now his disciples now slowly 
knowing about who Judas Iscariot would be. Then he, Jesus, he commented very interesting story right here. Jesus continued to say, Son of man, you see, this is a very important expression here. Son of man, would you write down why Jesus called himself the Son of man? The Bible said when Son of man, Jesus is the Son of God, okay? But often he referred himself to the Son of Man. Son of Man means who came from heaven as a man. That's the Son of Man. In other words, Jesus is 100% human. His humanity, humanity of Jesus Humanity of Jesus uh, cites the Son of Man. Okay? Because Jesus always, in the John Gospel, the no such expressions, always Son of God. But John, once he said, the Son of Man. So it's always Son of God means 100% deity of Jesus. Okay? Son of man refers to 100% humanity of Jesus. At different expressions, different implications. Okay? So whenever Jesus used the Son of Man, that has certain implications hidden inside of his statement. As we see here, the Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. See, this is a very interesting. What that means? It is written about him. Tell me, which, which reference in the Bible he was citing? Genesis 3.15. Genesis 3.15. He said, I will be a descendant of woman. Okay. In other words, he will be incarnated himself out of the Virgin Mary. Okay. Incarnate. Incarnated in humanity. Okay, out of virgin, called himself the Son of Man. That means 100% human. Okay, now, then he will be betrayed by a person, a descendant of Satan. That is, Already pre planned in the Proto Evangelion to fulfill that Proto Evangelion. Okay? This person, Judas Iscariot, should act according to the Bible. Predictions and predictions of Jesus. Yeah. And Jesus said, it, Woe to the man. In other words, what do you mean by woe to the man? And a curse to the man. Very bad to the man who betrays the Son of Man. Okay? So this man is what? A descendant of Satan. A descendant of Satan who will fight against the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? 
It's uh, the descendant of woman. Okay? So, woe to the man who betrays the son of man. Then this very interesting remark was made by Jesus right here. That you should be able to explain this. You see, this is what he said. It would be better for him if he had not been born. This is a very interesting remark. Why Jesus said so? You see, many humanistic oriented people like this statement. Okay, but it, it, has, it has a very deep spiritual implication uh, hidden inside. You see, it would be better for him if he had not been born. What if he had not been born? What if he had not been born then? That proto-evangelion would not be fulfilled. Right? So he should be born. He should be born. But Jesus was telling that it would be better for him, he said, for him. Who is him? Judas Iscariot. Why? Why? Now, you write that down, okay? Judas Iscariot was not a human. He was what? He was a oh, devil. One of, one of the fallen angels. Okay? In order to fulfill that proto-evangelion, God picked him up. Okay, out of, out of many fallen angels, okay, he picked him up. It's a God's choice, okay. He picked him up and put him into incarnated human being and performing that duty. Now, what would happen after his physical death, what would happen? Tell me. He will go back to okay, his own place. After his physical death, I would say he will be sent down to hell, abyss. Okay. However, because of this wrongdoing, okay, because of this, he said, bad job. We imagine that he will receive severe punishment uh, ever before. In other words, what if he did not participate in that job. He would not receive such a severe punishment. But since he participated in this particular activity, he would receive okay, severe punishment ever before, resulting in lower, lower position. God will put him into far worse place than he used to. Because, you know, in the plant, in, in the hell and, and the lake of, lake of fire, it's not an equal, same condition. Okay? It is a, it, 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 a, a different set of conditions. And, uh, uh, Worse, worse, say, worse uh, uh, evil forces will be in a worse, in the worst place. Within that, you know, uh, 
hell and within the lake of fire, it has a classes inside in, in terms of uh, circumstances. Okay? Are you with me? So this particular, uh, you know, devil, because of that special job that he, he has done, okay, God will put him into worse condition than before his appearance in human because he has done a very bad job. With that implication in mind, Jesus used this remark right here. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Are you okay? You understand this? All his friends, devil friends, will stay in their designated place. Okay, because they haven't they haven't been you know done they haven't done this kind of wrong job. But anyway, but this one will go down deeper place, worse place than his friends, because he had done very bad job against Jesus, participating in the proto evangelion. With that in your mind, with that in the mind of Jesus, he cited this. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Are you with me? Okay. Now, Judas Iscariot answered after all his colleagues said, who would betray? Okay, then it, it was I, it was I. They are asking. Then, after this statement done by Jesus, and all of a sudden, Judas Iscariot was asking, Master, Sir, is it I? And Jesus said to Judas Iscariot, You have said so. Yes, it is you. Clearly, and his disciples came to know, oh, that man would be, would be the one who would betray Jesus. So it was a clear moment in which his disciples came to know clearly who will Betray Jesus. Okay? After that clear identification of Judas Iscariot, then Jesus said, Okay, let's have a Passover dinner now. Okay? So, after that, Passover dinner begun. Okay? That is the story right here. The next week, we will be learning what would happen okay, to Judas Iscariot during the Passover dinner, at the, at the end of the Passover dinner. Then thereafter, all the stories will be coming next week. May God bless you. Those who are watching, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.